Hello everyone, yes it is that time for another edition of the Psycho Soon Project here on YouTube and many of you knew that this was going to come, surely, I mean, come on, I review the metal so of course I'm going to review the newest album by one of the biggest metal bands in the world one that I actually like, of the biggest metal bands in the world We Are Not Your Kind by Slipknot, their sixth album Now, will this be better than the last album, or their last few albums, for reasons I will go to in a moment? Well, I've given it a listen so, here comes the review. It is finally here, the sixth album by Slipknot. Um, it's been a fairly long time in the waiting for this album. Um, now, I'm going to be honest, I used to be a massive, massive Slipknot fan. Um, I loved them since the debut album uh, back in 1998. Saw them on the 1999 uh, UK tour. Um, when I say the debut album, I mean the debut album with Corey Taylor for a label. Obviously Mate Feed Kill Repeat uh, exists. I've listened to that album, it's it's alright for what it is, but it's only got slight hints of what Slipknot were about to become. Um, but yeah, that debut album, that self-titled debut, my god, that was that was amazing. That's still one of the best and freshest sounding albums 20 years later. Absolutely superb with its heaviness, its melodicness, absolutely brilliant. And obviously introduced us all to Corey Taylor's amazing voice, which, let's be honest here, he is one of the best vocalists in metal. Um, then we got the follow-up, Iowa, a few years later, where they pushed the extremity a bit, a bit further. Um, now, I'm one of those weirdos who didn't really think Iowa was amazing. Um, it tends to get voted as like one of Slipknot's best albums ever and all that and yet to this day I've listened to it again and again and it just doesn't it's not all great for me. Although it's got songs like The Shape on there which I love um, um, People Equal Share, uh, My Plague although the reason I like My Plague is because let's be honest here people it's a Fear Factory rip off you know, um, and the song I wear itself and gently brilliant, uh, dark kind of songs, but just a lot of it didn't quite connect with me. So I started my love for Slipknot kind of waned just just a smidgen, just a smidgen, and then they released Volume Three, and I absolutely love Volume Three. I think it is one of their best albums they've ever done. I love that they were going experimental. Um, to change the sound, sorry, take the sound further and really examine these different avenues of where they could take Slipknot instead of kind of being stuck to doing the same album and again and again, which is something they have pretty much stated they never want to do. Um, so Love Volume 3 was really, really looking forward to the next album. Heard Psychosocial come out. Quite enjoyed that, I'll admit. Quite enjoyed that song. Then All Hope Is Gone come out. Oh dear. Um, if that's been seen as a classic for some reason now, All Hope Is Gone was the probably the most disappointed I have been by a Slipknot album so far. It, I have tried that album so many times and it is just not getting to me, you know? It's not, you know, making me go, yes, this is a brilliant album. It's average for me. Um, and I was, I was absolutely like gutted that, you know, off this album, uh, this band who I'd loved for ages at that point, um, the this album that I just found to be kind of mediocre. Um, it was still better than quite a lot of the other albums coming out at the time, but um, yeah, it just, I don't know what was, there's something lacking on that album. And then there was a the sad death of uh, Paul Gray and we got The Grey Chapter. I liked the first two singles. And I liked the first two singles, and that was it. The rest of that album, again, just did nothing for me, personally. Um, I admit my taste in music is weird. My taste in metal can be very weird at times. Um, I think I enjoyed The Great Chapter a bit more than All Hope Is Gone. But, yeah, um, The Great Chapter didn't do much for me. At that point, I was really losing hope in Slipknot. And then... Then they released, um, what was it, All Out Life, uh, which, strangely enough, is not on this album, which I've explained. The reason it's not on this album is because it was just a little teaser, as it were. Um, it didn't fit into the flow of the album. Having heard the album, yeah, I can understand that. It, it wouldn't it wouldn't fit. Um, but All Out Life, it was okay. Um, it, it brought back some of the old heaviness, but again, 
didn't quite hit me. I was like, oh, oh dear. This before we knew it wasn't going to be on the album. But then, then when I started getting really, really excited, uh, for We Are Not Your Kind, was when they released Unsainted. And the first time I watched that, I was like, hang on, this is this is interesting. Different kind of build up. Um, Corey's soaring vocals straight away, not shouting, a soaring vocal to that earworm of a chorus, <laughs> along with the um, quiet choral voice as well. I was like, yeah, I'm liking this. Then it just kicked you, it was like a punch in the gut. And that, I listen to that song over and over, and I am absolutely fucking love Unsainted as a song. Um, and then so I, and I was getting excited about the album. And I thought, you know, if the rest of the album follows this, then brilliant. Then about a month ago, Solway Firth come out. Wasn't so impressed with that one, I have to say. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'll give the album a go because you know, hopefully there's other songs, at least along the same lines of Unsainted, where they're taking their sound in a different direction again. Considering how much I love Volume Three, yeah, let's give it a go. So here we are. We are not your kind. Um, and we kick off with the usual, like, the traditional Slipknot um, kind of mood setting instrumental track, as it were, in Insert Coin. Then going to Unsainted, I think I've kissed Unsainted's ass enough at this point on this review. Uh, then we cut Birth of the Cruel, and yeah, you can hear from Unsainted Birth of the Cruel that this is indeed going to be a dark yet somewhat melodic uh, Slipknot album. It's just the way I like Slipknot. Um, then we get another sort of um, interlude called Death Because of Death, which isn't too long, and unlike where I've uh, raged about it before on previous albums, uh, not for Slipknot just in general this year, um, the interludes on here are used sparingly and are actually worth being there. It has to be said. Then we come to another favourite song of mine, Nero Forte, which may end up as a single, it should do. Really, really enjoyed the song again. Bit along the lines of Unsainted, really enjoyed it. Critical Duck, darling, brilliant. The first song that was a bit of a nadir for me, Elias Funeral. I mean, all the elements are there, but on a first listen, Elias Funeral kind of dragged a little for me. Then Red Flag comes on, kicks off again. Spiders with another really good song, and Orphan. Um, not long for this world, I really enjoyed as well. But it ends on Subway Firth, which even on a second and third listen, still not still not quite connecting with me. However, however, if you are like me, you've been somewhat disappointed with the last few Slipknot offerings, I can 100% recommend this album. They're experimenting with their sound again, they're stretching their melodic and heavy muscles, sort of stretching where they can go with their sound, and it is a very, very good album indeed. Um, I would recommend you to listen to it, even if you haven't listened to Slipknot in a long time. Give it a go, you might find something you'll like. I'm glad that Slipknot finally made an album that I like again, all the way through, for the most part. Um, because even I said about those two, three songs on there, drag it down a little bit for me. That's on the first listen. So, you know, over time they'll probably grow on me. Um, so, all in all, uh, Slipknot's newest album, their sixth, We Are Not Your Kind, gets four and a half out of five from me. So there you go, that is what I thought of We Are Not Your Kind by Slipknot. Honestly, go pick it up. Um, I know there's a boxed edition, special box edition that comes with um, a shirt that I was tempted to get, but I thought, you know, considering how I feel about the last two albums, um, I didn't want to buy one with a shirt and then find out that I hate the album. Thankfully, that obviously was not the case if you've just heard over the last eight minutes of me waffling on. Um, so yes, the album is out now. It came out uh, on Friday uh, here in the UK, which was yesterday at the time of recording. Um, and yes, it is absolutely worth your money if you do indeed like your metal. Um, anyway, I have been uh, Psycho Scene, almost said Slipknot then, oh, not Slipknot, um, I am Psycho Scene, this has been the Psycho Scene Project, if you want to support the channel, the um, link to the Patreon or what you got to type in is just there, um, feel free to go there, help support the channel, help me to bring you more videos and all that as well, always a pleasure, I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreons, um, especially Attic Ghost for being a, well he's been a patron for a good year or so now, so Cheers, man. Go check out his channel, Attic Ghost. Absolutely awesome. He's currently um, at Meriluna, uh, I do believe. Hopefully, he's doing another video documentary thing there as well. So, uh, look forward to that. Anyway, I've been Psycho Scene. This has been the Psycho Scene Project, and I'll see you next time.